Thank you very much. Um, it's a busy session this afternoon, so we'll, we'll get moving fairly quickly. Um, initially, we've got three paper sessions, uh, presentations, 10 minutes each, and we'll have questions at the end of those. Um, following that, we'll have eight five-minute presentations with questions at the end of that as well. Our first presenter this afternoon is Dr. Michael Piolson. Now, he's, from, he's a PhD from uh, Department of Orthopedic Surgery, Klintec Karolinska Institute in Sweden. And he'll be discussing altered tissue dynamics after surgical treatment of Achilles tendon rupture, a methodology and case description, 6, 18 and 32 months after surgery. So thank you very much, Michael. Thank you very much. I would like to thank IPA for uh, letting me present this paper. This study is about uh, Achilles tendon rupture, which is a common injury as a consequence of sports and exercise accidents. Uh, unfortunately, there is a quite a long rehabilitation period, just above a an year, and uh, approximately just, uh, just above half of the patients will regain the same level of performance after either surgical or conservative treatment. Therefore, also new ultrasound techniques makes it possible now to describe and calculate regional tissue dynamics. So the aim of this presentation is to present this ultrasound-based method to study muscular dynamics in functional movements in real time. The person I have been um, investigated is a 30-year-old 30, 30 male. He's an active runner. He has undergone surgical treatment with primary surgery. He has been followed up at 6, 18, and 32 months. And he will be performing a 30 degree loaded functional heel raise on one leg at a time in a standing position with his hands towards the wall to stabilizing the body. In this uh, registration, I've used a very high frequent probe to capture all the details in the images. Um, it was positioned posterior on the Achilles tendon, one seat a centimeter proximal to the upper part of the calcaneus. We can see here the image field. Mm. Yes, uh, the one. There an error? Can I point? Is it possible to use the error? Use the mouse. Use the mouse. The mouse? Oh, oh the mouse. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, the image field you can see here is uh, this grayscale image where you can see the tissue, the subcutaneous tissue, the Achilles tendon, the uh, soleus muscle, the hallucis longus, and the tiberia, uh, posterior tibialis. The ultrasound loop, uh, to, in order to capture real-time performances, we are using ultrasound loops to register all the details changes in the tissues during the performance. And uh, the ultrasound loop is actually just a video sequence that is uh, simply an array of images which are put together. And we, in that case, in that sense, we can capture all the variations in the tissues during the performance. Some uh, things about the background of the tissue tracking. Uh, the ultrasound depicts soft tissues as a mix of hyper and hypoechoic patterns. And these patterns are, are converted into dark and light gray dots, 
which are usually called speckles. Speckles arise when the ultrasound wave hits the irregularities of the tissues and they scatter all, all, over, uh, all over in various directions. In this resulting mosaic pattern arising from the scattering, it can be seen as tissue-specific fingerprints. In order to track the, these prints, we use a region of interest. That is the ROI. This is an area which is manually placed in the first frame of the loop and then followed frame by frame. So the ROI stores the first frame's tissue, uh, tissue pattern, that is the gray mosaic pattern. And we can see the first frame of the ROI here, which is corresponding to this kind of tissue. And we would like to see if the, this pattern inside this frame correspond to the next frame here. If we find, uh, re-identify the same pattern up to 80% in the second frame as was identified in the first frame, we say it tags. And that means that we can compare frame one to frame two between the different frames of the loop. And this is the result of the tagging procedure and algorithm. Here the ROI is placed just in the Achilles tendon. The measuring procedure. The region of interest is applied in the first frame of the loop. As you can see, the ROI here is divided into three colored uh, segments. Uh, the first is in the anterior, central, and posterior part of uh, posterior, central, and anterior part of the, of the tendon. So in that case, we have divided the tendon into three portions. Each segment measures the regional displacement in millimeter during the whole loop. I would like to visualize for you the different kind of uh, applications from this. This is six months after surgery, the healthy side. And this is the injury side. We can see here is the, the repair tissue, which seems for the eye uh, quite stiff, while in the healthy side is smooth regional movements all over the performance. If we use the tracking procedure and using the whole calf uh, where we have uh, inserted the ROI, we can see the smoothness even, even uh, better. In the injured side, we can see the stiffness. Putting the ROI inside the, the tendon leaving this result in the healthy side and the injured side is like this. This is where the suture pl is placed. Extracting the data for the analysis. The calculations of relative displacements are shown here as a function of time. Each measuring segment, these three segments, correspond to a colored curve. In this way, the segments here describe the intratendinous dynamics as a function of time. The analysis use different kind of parameters. Firstly, the thickness of the tissue, of the repair tissue. Also, the different displacements comparing anterior, central, and posterior parts, portions of the healthy side as well as the injured side. And you can see that there is a difference here in the different portions at the turning uh, phase of the plantar flexion and heel raise. 
also uh, we calculated the, the difference between maximal anterior and posterior portions. The displacement result, here is the health side and there is the injury side six months after surgery. And we can see that the stiffness is confirmed. There are hardly no distance between the displacements here. The dynamic result, after 32 months of the surgery, this is the result in the repair tissue. And the calculated result is seen here. So obviously not, not much had happened over 32 months according to the stiffness parameter. The summary of the result could be described in the table here from the health side and injured side. But most interesting, uh, the injured difference, uh, the differences in the maximal displacement comparing anterior and posterior parts in the injury and health side showing hardly no difference at all over the months. The method to, to take home, the dynamics in healthy Achilles tendon during this loaded uh, heel race suggests a dynamic function which could be described as a relative share displacement between different portions of the tendon. And this relative share uh, displacement suggests a progressive shear effect where the anterior portions seem to move more compared to the posterior parts. The dynamics in the injured tendon shows an alter stiffer tendon and callus, which may affect the calf mu muscle function for at least 32 months after injury, although this is the person who is actively running. Ultrasound-based speckle techniques seems to contribute with valuable information describing intratendinous dynamics in the tendon. And I will leave you with one of my finest memories of bring home from Brisbane, the kids chasing and catching the flowers from the fall, falling flowers from uh, these wonderful shakarandas. Thank you so much for listening. <laughs>